We got the boar. What's going on here? Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Dun, 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 dun. Muffled voices reach you from the inside. Darling, check what they want. Why me? Just open the door, ain't a recruit. Are you sure you want to argue with us after you drop your helmet in the river? Answer the bloody door before we cut your pay for the equipment you borrowed from. From us. Hello, gals. Something wrong? Not sure yet, but we should talk. Tell me you don't need me to look for that lost ring again. We're here in Latro's name. He's examining the forest now. Right now. Come, come. We've got time for you. Vina and Hostia, right? That's us. I expect the mayor has briefed you already. La Certa. Only mention that we're to prepare the village for the furry shitheads. Schnitz. Schnitzels. So, ever fought a tribe of goblins? Me? Not really, but there are lectures on all kinds of beasts in the city. It ain't like they're trolls. Nothing to worry about. Unless there's a hundred of them, they climb well, can get past the wall, and it won't be easy to ma hire a mage to help us. Let's think. We've got three of us, and you, Vina, and your father. Would your brother join us? Sure, he... Victus is a bit busy, but he'll help us. Priest Vates, too, and maybe we could ask the Lumberjacks. My older brother, Victus... Vates, once a road warden, he's now a priest. He used to patrol the paths, windy meadows with other villages, and folks say he was rather cruel. My father sees him as his guy, but somehow Vates doesn't try to shove his faith down my throat. I appreciate that. The lumberjacks. Cut our trees. They need to do it slowly, otherwise they're anger the beasts. You mean pay the lumberjacks? That's hardly enough, and I doubt we get much use from arming the rest of the village with spears. Have you learned anything about these goblins' weaknesses? I mean, we've got fire, if nothing else. Not much to go with, is it? Better prepare the stronghold for the elders and kids. Bringing in the beds and furs from storage is easy enough, but we'll need help with collecting water and food. What about... so much to discuss? Especially if we were to mobilize our neighbors. You're talking to... You're telling me, lady, I'm reading all this stuff right now. The mayor wouldn't skimp on a few more shields, would she? We're in for a boring afternoon. Let's grab some chairs. Please. Sit down. Stop talking. Get me into this. What are we fighting off? Fighting off goblins and stuff right now? I have no idea. Finally, some fresh air. I'll leave the door open. Is it just me, or do you get bolder when the soldiers are around? <laughs> not that I've got a choice. They're not my best friend or anything, but they said I could join them once they head back to the city. They'd recommend me to their commander, I think they're called. Okay. You could make quite a career. Nah, I'm happy where I am. I ain't one to go an extra the extra mile. When I'm free, I'd rather take a stroll in our forest garden or go to an inn with you. I don't need people looking up to me n to know my worth. Though getting noticed was nice. I'm sure it was. Well, it's getting late. I'll see you soon. Good luck. Adios. Are you going? Why even bring me with you if it's not worth... If, if I've got nothing worth saying. Forgive me. Next time, I'll give you the time to speak. Still here? Father's waiting for you. What's wrong? We're having family dinner. Victus is taking Inmira to the city to look for a healer. So old Salvia can't help? Wise and selfless herbalist. Every ten days the village prepares gift baskets for her and we sometimes bring her fresh meals as well. She may not be too kind, but she's irreplaceable. I hope Ludicia does her best learning her craft. That's what Victus said. I'm sorry, pet. 
Any news about the goblins? Kind of, but let it go for now. We shouldn't burden Victus with this. So Dad found them? How many? At least 30. They've settled in a cave not far from here. We're screwed. What about you? No work today? Stabulus can survive for a few hours on his own. Having stabs in our village is right's blessing. He's full of ideas, silly meals and drinks, so I spend every evening at his inn, the Tasty Claw. Evolo says the place is nothing special compared to the city's alehouses. Makes me wonder. I need some rest anyway. I have to prepare the entire dinner for you too. Time to go. Yada yada yada. All right. Interesting. So be it. So be it. So much fresh meat. Were we starving or what? This day deserves it. The board was large enough to grant us a feast, and we'll share the leftovers with Joe Rogan, with Relega, a farmer that lives next to us. Together with Temnus, they're in debt to the city merchants ever since they lost their entire flock of sheep to a plague. Their daughters Ferma and Ludicia can handle themselves, but Re Regula, Relega, 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 doesn't enter the village anymore. Too embarrassed and shy, she often visits my mother, talking to her even if she's asleep. I guess it's Relega. I got us a bottle of spiced mead from Castus. Midas' husband, maybe the wealthiest farmer in the village, but welcomes everyone with a smile. He, pe he spends many evenings in Tasty Claw, chatting with Mifaja. Can I have some? Ain't it hilarious how Victus can simply decide to leave the city once he sees he needs it, while Venus sits on the fence for half a season? You're too old for petty squabbles. Just saying, at least she was kind enough to join us, instead of stuffing herself at the inn again. Mm. Ah... Let's just have a good time. I said, can I have some mead too? In two years, little wolf. Let's have a talk before we drink anything. Inmara needs help, but I can't leave you with the goblins lurking around the corner. What did old Salvia say? Can't she help us? Ludicia told me that both herbalists have run out of ideas. Soon, Innie's shell won't be able to swallow food. Victus's daughter... She's been asleep for two months now. I used to love wandering around the wall with her, telling her about the woods. She looks so silly with my dagger in her small hands. And while I'm grateful for your prayers, I can no longer wait for a miracle. You should still go to Salvia. For Ludi, everything's dark and hopeless. Old Salvia's pupil. A few years after birth, her parents lost their flock of sheep to a plague. She had to look after the younger child, Firma, and since Ludi, she has always been... The weird kid, they asked Salvia to take her. Her eyes may be absent, but the, without her help, I'd have lost my eye to a were-badger. I'm happy to prepare gift baskets, our gift baskets for her. So one of the herbalists. I'm sure they discussed it together. And she's rude and weird, so she's smart. Uh, I mean, second opinions, you know, uh, it doesn't help. It doesn't hurt. The cabin ain't far away from here. We could go there and have a little talk. Salvia knows what she's doing. If she believes Ludi is ready for the duty of aiding our tribe, we'll respect her decision. Ludici is my friend, and she helped Mom a lot. Pup, you have your our we, ha you have your own set of responsibilities now. A child that's defenseless, defenseless without you. And what about the monsters? It was all a fourth false alarm. I got spooked by five, maybe eight hungry apes. We'll handle them, Vina and I. Finally, some good news. But are you sure you don't need my help? Help me bringing back my granddaughter. When can you leave? Evolo wants to hire the lumberjacks to escort us. If the right allows it, we'll hit the road tomorrow. 
I'm glad that Dad finds comfort in his talks with priests, but I struggle to pray. Whenever I close my eyes, I think of Victus, Inmara, and Ma. Okay, that didn't really tell me what the right was. Dad lied to him? But what if we need his help? Victus has got the right to decide what to do. Mm, uh, kind of honest to a fault. Dad. You told Lita that his goblin tribe is huge. Shouldn't Victus stay? It's dangerous to split up. Is this true? Son, I can't just leave you with those beasts. Well done, Vina. You did it again. But we need to stick together. Let's take Innie to old Salvia instead. Oh, crap. Silence, all of you. You've got to go. i do the same for any of you. The healers from the city couldn't help Mom. <clears throat> and even if the right does guide them to Inmara, do you want me to bring her back to a pile of ashes? It's going to be, shut up, you've said enough already. But Dad, leave this to the adults, sweetie. Go to your mother. I ain't a child. You act like one. Go. Listen to me, little wolf. We'll be alright. You have your own duty to handle now. Don't surrender to fear. I ain't ready to make this choice. You are. I trust you. Do what's right. I... Ah. Uh... Um. Time for us to head to the inn, sis. I just tried. We're opening a fresh cask of cider. Not that you'd taste the difference. Wow. Who's... You insulting your father's cider? What's... What's that? Hanging out with the older folks for a change. I mean, I, I don't know any of these. The, the younger neighbors are at work. Yeah, sure. My friends are preparing for the worst. The goblins may come any day now. Does it happen often around here? Goblin attacks? Goblins or any other monsters. The trolls ate one of Arata's sheep not long ago. Arata. It's not two R's. We can't do that. A local farmer owns our tribe's last sheep and noble griffins. Her kids look after the pets of this rich city folk. She rarely visits the village. Okay. It's the safest village in this part of the province, protected by guards, rituals, and hunting traps. You'll get used to it. You just got spoiled by the ch the tall city walls. Give it a few years and a limb or two, and you'll feel at home. The woods are not too gentle for us nowadays, but how's the river? Any chance at a good catch I, I could use for soup? Don't expect any grand tales from me. The older I get, the fewer risks I take. It's all nets and fishing rods now. No spears or clubs or saurian bait. You try to pay attention for a while, but hearing the same old tale again makes your thoughts drift away toward... The goblins. My spear is sharp, but I should check back on my boot knife. I should be able to handle a few goblins, right? Dad knows what he's doing. Boom. Argentinia left the village yesterday, but I can catch a whiff of her plum perfume. Whenever she comes here, she looks like she owns the place. Confident, wealthy, gorgeous, mmm, delicious. Could I find all this in the city? Yeah, I'm gonna look at Lemos. Say again? Just ask what your take on this was. Uh... We were talking about this discussion we had with Ludi today. Someone as good as hunting as you would have no problem teaching Lemos how to hold a spear right. He's a clumsy ass. Now you've got an issue with my ass. I'd never. I don't really think about hunting all that much. It's a respectable trade. With a dose of responsibility attached to it. A duty some say and you've got a talent for it. Maybe. 
Dad's been teaching me since I was a kid. I've got a strong shell, good for combat and sharp senses of my mom. Freddy's a master of crossbows and traps. It hurts me to see how her illness keeps her in bed. It's been three years already. She may never be strong enough to return to the wilderness. The only the only person with a description that's actually pretty pretty bad A. But I feel more myself when I'm home. Or with friends or even here. Even here, have some mercy. What would you rather do? Uh, yeah, travel could be a mercenary or pathfinder or road warden or an adventurer i'd like to travel to see the wonders of the world here everything's so small no spouse no kids yeah, once i'm older family would come once i've had enough dragons a family is meant to help you as well if everything goes right sure had no such choices to bother with. Back in my youth, Windy Meadow needed food, and we ran out of things to forage for, so I started the chase after the meat from the rivers. And when I was a kid, my home village needed to fix tools for them. I played around until I got pretty good at it. No one really asked me if I liked it, but I very much did. How about you, Stabs? Why'd you leave this city commonwealth, the city, city's wealth behind? One can't run an inn there without joining the guild, and I'd rather keep the coins my parents left me after breaking their backs at the building sites for 30 years, thank you. There's no monsters in the city, right? No wrath of the herds? The more threatened the animals feel, the more desperate they get, and can even join forces to strike down human settlements. Every few years we hear stories of another tribe that was overrun by wild beasts, but it doesn't happen around here often. We're pretty close to the city walls. There are the gargoyles from time to time and the creatures underground, but I get what you mean. The truth is, there's no air in Veritas. Every inch belongs to someone. Each item has its worth stated in writing. Any step you take is seen. Sure, there are no robbers, just a few pickpockets. But the officials leave you with hardly anything. You'd be close to the merchants, so you'd get a bit more space. Just beware of the sacrifices. I guess if living in the city was pure delight, everyone would try to live there. Those fancy pants may act all high and mighty, but they need our hands more than we need their poems and elixirs. But we do need their soldiers and roads. Nuh uh. Or even if we do, will our children need them? Our grandchildren? In one lifetime, we've seen the plague and the southern invasion. I guess so. Change is in the wind. Yes. No path is really safe, is it? 